Hello, this is a video shortcut uh, on using PHP and today what we're going to do is we're going to write uh, our query for our PHP document and we're going to do that using PHP admin that we're already familiar with for writing and managing our databases. So I have my PHP admin window open and I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to do a search. Uh, let's see, go to databases and I'm going to use uh, this database here. Now I'm going to do a search here in my database and what I'm going to do is I'm going to search uh, and you know I'm going to make this a little easier. I'm going to go ahead and go right to a uh, table and for this particular instance we're just going to go ahead and search this table. So what we're going to do is we're going to search for a name here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a wildcard name. I don't want just the name. I want uh, anything that contains the string of the name. Uh, so let's say Don. Uh, I have a million records in this thing, so I'm sure there's going to be Don, Gordon, Donna. So this ought to be kind of fun. So let's go ahead and click here. And this will show you how to write your code in here. Okay. Uh, now we have 11,954 records that contain the term Don. And if you look here, you have Don, you have Eldon, you have Gordon, you have Donna, you have LaDonna, you have Donald, 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 Brandon, Sheldon. Uh, a whole lot of stuff with Don in it. Okay, so anyway, this is the search that I want to use in my, uh, in my PHP script. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, create a PHP code from this script by clicking this button that says Create PHP Code. And when I do that, it's going to give me a line like this that says uh, SQL equals select for, uh, all from CL doctors where MD name like and then these slashes and I found I've had to take these slashes out. And then limit 0, limit 30 and uh, and then it encases. So when I just take this right here and copy it out and put it into my uh, notepad as such, you'll see that I have a fully constructed SQL query. Now, as I said, you may have to take these backslashes out because I know that they don't work for mine. So here's your query. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and double up this query because I'm going to use this one all over again. But I just wanted to demonstrate something real quick in the meantime. And uh, if you put your query down here like so, now where you have this Don in here, uh, you don't want your query to run Don each and every time. So you probably have a form with a post variable or a get variable or something like that. And uh, let me uh, let me pause this and grab some code here. Okay, here's here's an example of a, a post statement that's going to come in from an external source. So I'll paste that in there, and this right here is if is set get search query uh, and get search query equals or does not equal blank. Then search qu query we're going to preg replace, which is a to z and zero to nine. I'll explain that somewhere else. But anyway, this is our variable search query. Uh, the variable uh, becomes search query right here. So we can take this search query variable and we can copy that right here and we can put it in instead of the DON that we've used in there. And then this becomes our code that will run the, uh, S this is the SQL that will run the, the query on the database once you're properly connected and all. I'm assuming that you're doing all that. This would be a two-hour video to show you all of that. Uh, hopefully you know how to connect to your database by now and everything. This is just a quick and dirty and easy way to run a query. Another thing on these queries that I wanted to show you here, and I'm going to go ahead and do it on this one. Uh, a lot of people are wondering how you can get just the second record or the third record. For example, let's say you're you're trying to show blog results. Okay, if you put limit one, that's the record number it will start at. Remember all your records start at number zero in your database. So uh, let's say you want the record between 10 
and I don't know 300 so we'll do that we'll, we'll get record 10 to 300 so your first under first thing past the limit statement is the record number you want to start with and then you have a comma and then how many records you want to return so we're going to copy this back out here and then we're going to take it back over to our uh, PHP my admin we're going to go to SQL and we're going to paste that in here and I should get Don's I should have 300 of those oops I uh, goofed up I need to copy again I should have pasted at that point so let me copy again go back over here and I will paste instead of copy and then when I hit go we'll get record starting record number 11 and going to 300 records deep containing the term Don uh, if my slow internet connection will let me okay records number 0 to 29 300 total query took uh, uh, 3.5 seconds or whatever it says 0 to 29 but it's actually giving me 0 to 300 I don't know why it's saying 29. But if you'll look through here, everything has a Don in it somewhere. Brandon, whatever, Sheldon. But anyway, that is how you write the SQL query. That's also how you would uh, how you would set your uh, limits for returns. Let's run this again and see if it changes that showing rows 0 to 29. Because that's not what we wanted that to show. But I've done a whole lot in, in this particular database so maybe it's having its little issues and quirks today plus I've got about three million records in there so yep still says showing 0 to 29 but it's actually showing them all all 300 but that's how you do it uh, and once you've run your query and you see successful results down here you just hit create PHP code and it'll create the code for you and uh, if you don't want it created in these type lines then you just go back here and uh, try and run it out in a single line uh, as I have from uh, from my notepad here we run that copy and as long as you put it on a single line it should give you the output on a single line uh, as well and that that I find is more usable because when it triple lines the output in the uh, create SQL then you uh, typically have to edit that uh, have to do quite a bit of editing just remember when you get this output line take these lines right here out uh, you can try it with them in but I've had much more success with them out and that's how you generate an SQL query using PHP my admin and then you can put this query right into your PHP document and it will query your, query your database for exactly what it is you're looking for. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, uh, say hi. And I hope you enjoyed this. And I will bring you more videos.